Hey everybody, Harrison101 back at it once again with a brand new video for you and welcome to round, I think it's 16 of the, the RF1 2013 career mode Let's Play and welcome to New Delhi, India everybody. Um, yeah, I know you're starting to sense a familiar pattern here but once again I qualified in third. Uh, Rosberg second, he beat me by a quarter of a tenth and then Vettel on pole again. Um, unfortunately, I, I just did like... The, the option tyres around India aren't very nice to drive with. You know, the primes, similar to real life as a matter of fact, are kind of like the go-to proper race tyre. It's a bit like the options in Spa, they're just not very enjoyable. Anyway, here's the setup. Again, I borrowed it from Eze Racing. Check out his channel in the description. Um, I, I, probably should have I probably should have turned the gearbox down because I wasn't even getting close to hitting 212 down the straights. Um... You know the rules, um, strategy, gonna go to lap 7 on the options, then 8 laps on the primes. I must admit the tyre wear in this car is actually better than I thought it was going to be. I, I was able to do 10 laps on the primes, no problem, so 8 shouldn't be an issue at all. Um, 7 on the options is a little bit eh for me, but we'll have to wait and see. If anything, given the fact that India has a straight longer than the runway in the Fast and Furious 6, it might actually be a benefit that I'm starting in third for the sake of overtaking Vettel early on. We'll have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah. Here we go. Let's let's do this. For said, for a little bit of a fun fact for you guys. That I've watched and I mentioned this on Twitter before. But I have never done a career mode race full length around India. The longest I've ever done was six laps. And that was back in my Force India days in F1 2011. And then F1 2011, um, the issue with that was that I, I got to the point where I really couldn't be asked to do full length races anymore. So, uh, yeah. Bit of an update as well. Remember, I'm 2 to 1 up in the rival challenge against Mark Webber, so I have to wait and see how that one rolls out. But here we go. Five lights. And we're underway. Good start from Seb. Rosberg's off to a decent start as well. Rosberg turning, in, turning outside and almost into me as well. But we hold off to do hold on to the lead at the start. Whoa, Rosberg very slow around the hairpin. Yeah, Rosberg was very slow on, on the break in there. I've not got. DRS obviously, but let's see if we've got the engine mix and the slipstream to pass Seb here. Oh, oh, no, not quite. And you know what the thing is, once you get past this bit, it's ridiculously hard to pass around India. Oh, that was very wide there, click the curb. Apologies for that viewers. I'm not used to I'm not used to driving with such a heavy fuel load. Whoa, we on the gravel. That, that didn't end well. Whoa, man, these these curbs are crazy. And I've got Rosberg all over the back of me. And is that Riker in there in fourth? Vettel's just going to pull off into the distance here, I think. He is the undisputed king of India. And I think as well, when I was testing and when I was in qualifying, I was pretty darn awful around Sector 3. And I have no idea where I was losing all that time. Yeah, fuel's back. Just, just checking my fuel was on standard still. I get, I get OCD over things like that. You know what? If I was really aggressive, I could have passed Vettel right there last lap. But I had a couple of comments accusing me of dive bombing a lot. And I don't really want to be known for that. Unfortunately, that's just the problem with this game. The problem with this game is since the AI is so tentative on the break-in. And they're always slow on the first lap. 
You know, it's it, it it's easy to dive bomb. And you know what? I don't think it's it's as much of a dive bomb as you think it is, because the AI just make it look like it's a dive bomb more often than not. Rosberg losing a bit of ground, which is good. My god, my, my front left is a bit warm. This is kind of why I wanted to learn driving with a wheel, so that, you know, you can drive smoother and not have issues like that when actually driving the car, but... It's just not going to happen. I know people, people have been asking about the whole wheel thing and how's that going. If I'm honest, it's probably not going to happen. Uh, I'm just too busy, to be honest. I'm too busy to learn to drive a wheel properly. It's just... The unfortunate reality of the situation. I'm in university part time. I got a, I got two part time jobs on top of that. Um, one of them is in a radio placement, or um, one's in a radio firm. And the other one is at a department store. I open boxes for four hours a week. Ouch! Tap the bollard there. Not a major thing. Um, and see, so yeah, I have two part time jobs, and I'm at university. And I've got other projects to work on. And now Dre TV is kicked off. That's going to take up even more of my time. Because that takes up a fair bit of editing to produce those kind of segments. So, me learning to drive a wheel on top of that. And all my other series on top of that. It's it's a bit much. Sacrifices have to be made. And it looks like as well that MotoGP career mode is going to have to come to an end early as well. I would have loved to have done a third season. I was going to try and take Ducati and, and see what and see what would have happened. But um But unfortunately it's just one of those things where I've just got too many series on the bounce at the moment. Especially with Gran Turismo 6 now added in. Um So it's just one of the things where MotoGP's gonna have to be on hold, but you will still see more gameplay for it um in Dre TV and on top of that I will be switching to MotoGP 14 when that comes out in June, because that was confirmed last week, which I guess is also somewhat good news. I'm not dropping it completely, it's just on an extended hiatus, I suppose, until next year, where we'll, where we'll start again and hopefully, you know, be, make it awesome. Also, the tyre scaling in this game is starting to really piss me off. Like, my tyres are now already blood red, and they're trying to tell me I'm meant to go to lap 7. What kind of bullshit is this? Like, I'm going to be real with you here, folks. Whoops, my bad, sorry about that. Um, but, yeah, when I was, when I was doing, when I was doing this in practice, I don't think practice scaled the tyres to 25%, like, um, like, like a lot of other people do. Or, or like, like you do in the race. It's kind of a weird predicament like that. It's like, well, I think when you do tyre scaling in practice, it feels like it's 100% scaling. But during the race, it's obviously 25% scaling, so my tyres are now already completely gone. Which just doesn't make any friggin' sense. Like, why is the, where's the consistency code, Masters? Like, I've done longer runs in practice, and the tyres were not like this after five laps. Even six laps after the qualifying lap I had to do earlier. And our Rosberg's much closer to me this time around. Oh, but we on the grass, that's not going to help. Oh. Rosberg has to yield out of that. This could be a long way back to the pits if, if, if my tyres are anything to go by. If anything, the car doesn't actually even feel that bad. Believe it or not. It's just, there's just no grip at slow cornering speeds. The downforce is good, but... How on earth did they expect you to, to, to go fast on this and Rosberg makes a move around the inside? Oh my word, touching wheels there. Good attempt from my boy Nico there. And how is Vettel so good on his still? He, he's eight seconds down the road.
Okay, we, we, got, we got a pit now. Yeah, no, no, is anybody else coming in? No, they're not. That, that, that doesn't bode well. <laughs> Let's see if the undercut works. <laughs> it didn't work for TRL Limitless in Abu Dhabi. I don't think it'll work for me here. <laughs> By the way, James, if you're watching, I love you, man. <laughs> love your videos, love your work, but that was an hilarious um, AOR performance there. Um, shout out to my man, TRL. Uh, um, if you haven't watched Limitless already, go do it. He's a top-class bloke. He really is. And one of the finest pad racers in, on the planet. Simple as that. Uh, so the good news is I've come out in clean air. Whoa, someone hit the bollard. And I think it was the guy Ricardo's trying to put... Oh, he just passed around the outside. That's nicely done, Danny. I think it's, it's a Force India by the looks of it. Have a look here. Let's do that. Let's pull the rester. Okay. Did he lose his front wing on that bollard hit by any chance? You got DRS. We're gonna line him up and textbook. Must admit, it's a bit of fun to be further back here and actually be able to pass people for once. Back to Fuel Mix Optimal. Uh, Ryan's got the RS, he tries to joke out a little bit, but he is, uh, I'm having none of that. So that's Ricardo dispatched. One sport even getting back in the points. Next up, Sergio Perez. Oh, had to, had to yield off a little bit there because there really is only one. There's only one line through Los Esses. <laughs> Just completely threw off my rhythm there, but he, he braked early. I was like, oh, what do I do here? They're going to do the pits now. Let's see Rush shake out. So I'm back out in fifth. Head and eco. I did actually gain on Rosberg on the way out, so I guess that's a good thing. But Rosberg's lap, Rosberg's tires are going to be two laps fresher than mine. This this was an almighty undercut, and it probably hasn't worked. <laughs> Vettel's out there in fourth, and he's probably already pitted. <laughs> And the scariest part is, is that he's right on the back of the three guys who haven't stopped yet. His pace has been incredible. Well, I did say that I could, I could do 10 laps on these primes in practice. Let's see if that holds, holds true during the race. I have a sneaking suspicion that probably won't happen. Everybody's in the pits except for one dude. That's got to be Seb, surely. The hell is Adrian Sittle doing out that long on the tyres, I wonder? Is 
So we're back into second. So it's, it's, it's shaken out all right in the end. We've actually cleared the, the, the second pack. It's just me versus Rosberg now in the battle for second. Tires already a, a very polite shade of orange as Rosberg looks for a move. Not on this one. Oh, hit the bot art. You'd think that would damage your wing, but it doesn't. Amazing. Codemasters. We need some of Arava's uh, realistic damage mod. Where a small gust of wind can break your front wing. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, folks, this might be the longest six laps of my career mode to date. The downside of being a pad user is that for a lot of the time you can't be as precise and consistent. And because the analogs aren't that smooth, you make jerky movements and those overheat the tyres. It's just the reality of the situation. Oh, again, 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 I lost like three temps in that last sector. Why do I keep losing time there? But yeah, I don't think I can go the distance on these. Uh, I, if I want second, I've got no choice. I've got to go the distance. <laughs> and Vettel's got nearly the whole front straight on me now. Rosberg's come in again for another look. Too far back on this one. If there's any plus, me and Vettel actually aren't that far apart in pace in this second stint. It's a few attempts here and there. Or well, less than a couple of attempts here and there, I reckon. And I'm actually quite quick in this middle sector now. I tell you what, though, India is, is India is a track where you don't really want to go offline in it because going offline is not pretty. Whoops, corner cut apparently. But um, the track itself is really fun, actually. One of the better tilt ones, I have to say. No DRS for Osberg on that one. Five laps to go. Tires don't feel too bad yet. Massa goes fastest for 29.5. Is that him in fourth, I wonder? On the map, because he's, he's looking to be a little bit closer. What's keeping me alive here is my middle sectors are still really quick compared to the rest of the field. I, I take like six temps out of seven in that middle sector. Oh, that's good. This is this is the only even half chance you've got to pass somebody ever ever side of the lap, really. Oh god, that the understeer there was pretty chronic. So we're sort of going to try another move round here again. He did it, but he did it. But he tried it earlier in the race. Not this time. Yep, we're looking okay here. Who is that? For yeah, I think that is Felipe Massa in fourth. It would make sense given his his last lap was so quick. It is Massa in 4th. Weber's down in 7th. My main priority is to beat Mark Weber, who's in P7. The front of the Ferraris are quick today. 29-4. Because I'm 3 points behind Weber in the championship. I'm 5 points ahead of Rosberg. So I could afford to drop to 3rd, and I'd still be in good shape. We're in... Rosberg's got a better run this time. 
Oh, yes, 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 he has to break earlier because he's got the extra speed coming in. He's been scrapping the whole race, me and Rosberg. He just can't find a way around me. I'm putting on a Jorge Lorenzo style defensive driving clinic. Hulkenberg in Korea esque, this is right here. See, I, now I know I nailed that middle sector, so now it's bought me a little bit more time. <laughs> but now Felipe Massa has joined the fight. Massa's passed him! Massa passed him at the final corner! What a move that is! Wow! 2008 Felipe is returned for a second round. <laughs> you must want revenge for Japan. <laughs> Those Ferraris are looking lively. Bit of oversteer through that corner. Well, we got three to go here. This car still doesn't feel too bad. Given the fact that the tyres are red in there. Maybe some Felipe Massa's thinking about a move. Just better on the braking, because that's just what the AI's like. And now Alonso's joined the back of this now in, in P6, I think, back there. Or well, 5, actually. 5. I miscounted. My bad. Whoa. Sorry about that, folks. Come on. I love that corner. It always, it always gets me a reprieve. This time it got me a second, my god. Way to buy me some time there. <laughs> Whoa, almost lost it there. Bit of a swerve and now Mass is going to have DRS again, but I don't think the straight is long enough to pass anybody with it. It's, the, it's, it's about the second most pointless DRS zone behind the one in Monaco. <laughs> the wheel spin coming out of there was insane. Alright, Felipe, if you want to go, you got to go the long way around if you want to pass me this time. But the Ferraris are not as fast in a straight line as Mercedes are. I've just got to watch it through the slower corners and I should be okay. Rosberg's having a look at Massa again. Massa trying to barge him all over the place. But Rosberg's got past Massa again. For the sake of the championship race, I kind of want Felipe to get past Nico. And because it's a nicer story. Because everyone loves Felipe Massa. <laughs> Felipe Massa is like Rubens Barrichello. He's just one of those really super nice Brazilian folk. That I've never heard anybody say a bad word against Felipe Massa, ever. <laughs> when it comes to his character or personality. He seems like the nicest dude. Well, the car still feels okay. And we're about to start the final lap. <laughs> Here we go, folks. That was 15 seconds down the road, but I don't care. This is going to be effectively a procession lap. <laughs> God, the understeer is chronic now, boy. It's really bad. But I've set the fuel mix to three on this one. I'm taking no chances. Probably Nico's just a lot faster than me. Nico might just have me on this one. Trying to switch back again. And it works. Fantastic fight this has been, and clean. Not a bit of contact in there either, which is always good to see. Taking advantage of the fact you can't pass around this middle sector isn't really helping. Oh, 
Are we actually going to pull this off? <laughs> These primes are just about shot. A lot. Fettel's crossed the line for the win. One more corner. Mass has got past Rosberg again. <laughs> I didn't even realise I was concentrating so hard. So it's going to be a drag race to the line. But we got third. Yes. Or third second, I should say. Wow. Oh, yes. Oh, wow. I will take that. Gladly. That is fantastic. That That's, that's, as, that's almost as good as a win. Um... Oh, I, I had to go friggin' ten laps on those primes when they were only meant for eight. I mean, jeez. Don't get me wrong, the car felt pretty much the same the last five laps of that. <laughs> but, um... I will gladly take that. That's a solid 18 points there for second. Um... Felipe Massa in third. Alonso for Weber past Rosberg too. So Rosberg must have had an awful final lap. To finish in 5th. In fact, Kimi Raikkonen was only a 10th behind him as well in 7th. Hulkenberg in 8th. Sutil 9th. Perez 10th. Okay. I'm going to end the video off here. Rather than... Rather than another time. Because in case my Elgato crashes again. I still have a chance to restart it. But this is what the championship looks like right now. I'm in 3rd. Um, now 5 points ahead of Weber. Um... I beat him who I beat again in the rival battle, so I'm 3 1 up on that. Um, Felipe Massa's now joint level with Rosberg with 158 points each. And in the constructors, Red Bull now have a 23 point lead over Mercedes. Ferrari now 42 points back. But in the meantime, I've been Andre Harrison, Harrison 101 to you and me. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you guys next time. Sayonara.